A Tesla spokeswoman confirmed that the Fremont, California-based company is working closely with large customers to build semi-charging stations. She declined to comment further on the arrangements or Tesla's plans for its own truck charging terminals. Anheuser-Busch is evaluating installing its own charging equipment for its 40 Tesla semis at large breweries and other key locations, according to James Sembraot, senior director of supply chain for the street. Louis-based beer maker, what was important to us was to make a big investment in this cutting-edge technology and secure our place in line, Sembraot said. UPS, too, expects to work closely with Tesla on building on-site charging stations. According to Scott Filippi, Global Engineering Director for the Parcel Delivery Behemoth, the Atlanta-based company pre-ordered 125 semis in December. Grocery chain Loblaw companies will likely use solar power to juice charging stations for the 25 semis that it has pre-ordered from Tesla, according to spokeswoman Catherine Thomas. She said Loblaw was considering Tesla as well as a few other companies for technology and design. None of the companies will disclose cost estimates for building their own charging infrastructure. U.S. transit agencies that operate electric buses provide some clues. A fast charger terminal serving six electric buses would cost $249,000, according to a 2016 report from the California Air Resources Board. But analysts and automotive industry executives said the price tag for commercial truck facilities could easily reach into the millions of dollars depending on factors such as the number of big rigs to be recharged, the energy source for the electricity and existing energy infrastructure in a given area. Tesla in November unveiled its prototype semi with the aim of upending the trucking industry. At a splashy event in Hawthorne, California, Musk said the sleek, battery-powered cab could achieve up to 500 miles on a single charge and be faster, cleaner and cheaper to operate than conventional diesels. Base prices range from $150,000 to $200,000, according to Tesla's website, compared to $120,000 for a typical diesel. Companies including Walmart Stores Inc. and Cisco Corp. plunked down deposits getting plenty of public relations mileage in the process. Tesla wants to profit off the energy customers and industry executives said Tesla intends to buy cheap excess solar power off the U.S. energy grid, store it in enormous battery banks, then profit from selling it to drivers of semis. But that strategy carries risks. Experts said, it's a departure from being a vehicle manufacturer to being an energy supplier, said Darren Gosby, vice president of engineering at Navistar International Corp., which is working to launch an electric medium-duty truck by late 2019. Ian Wright, a Tesla co-founder who now runs his own company making electric powertrains for industrial trucks is skeptical that truck charging stations can be a big moneymaker for Tesla. He estimated the capital costs for batteries alone would be $15 million for a single station. I am not seeing any profit in the energy brokering for Tesla, said Wright, whose Wright Speed powertrain venture is based in Alameda, California.